Hey everyone, Adam here. So what I have up now is a stock Ubuntu 14.04 installation and I just wanted to quick, give a quick overview of it just so you can see if this is the desktop environment for you. Now, uh, admittedly I'm a little bit biased because uh, for me I really really enjoy using this desktop interface um, and I also like using a tile interface such as the awesome Windows Manager and honestly depending on my mood uh, depending on the week I bounce between the two quite uh, frequently um, and so uh, as far as me showing this off and my workflow and some tips and tricks uh, I'm a little bit more versed in this versus me trying to show off something like Mint but anyway uh, I just want to give a quick overview to see if this is a desktop environment that you uh, may also like now probably in the minority or at least that's what it feels like uh, I feel like a lot of people didn't really like unity um, and like more of the traditional desktop paradigm anyway uh, first thing I do after a stock installation is I always change the desktop background because all of this purple and orange just annoys the heck out of me so um, the other thing that I find helpful is getting rid of a lot of this stuff uh, in your launcher that you're not going to use I like to keep it very very lean um, your settings, I'm going to eject that. And if you want to add anything, you can click this little dash button up here. And like, for example, like I like to add a terminal, you can just click on it, it launches. And then what you can do is you can just move this up and over like that. So, uh, <clears throat> I like to run something like this because what's nice is when you hit the Windows key uh, or the meta key, whatever you want to call it, a list of your keyboard shortcuts come up and this helps you to determine some of the things that you can do um, as far as switching applications and bringing up some of the shortcuts. Now if you notice over here you see a 1, 2, and 3. So what's really nice is if I'm holding down the Windows key and then I hit the number three on my keyboard, it will launch that application. Now, if I've already got that application open, uh, for example, the terminal is uh, under Windows 1. So now if I hit Windows 1, it'll immediately jump to that application. Uh, Firefox is under Windows the Windows key plus three. So if I hit Windows 3, it immediately jumps to that application. So um, I've gotten used to that and I really, really enjoy that. So um, instead of having like 20 things in here on this side, I just keep what I use most frequently. That way I can quickly jump. So uh, for example, a text editor, let me load up a text editor text editor here. So now this should be under Windows 4 Windows 4, but I've already got that. So let me jump back to terminal and then Windows 4 Ah, so this is one of the annoying things about Unity. There's a bug. So unfortunately, it should have gone to Windows, the Windows key, and then uh, the number four, but it didn't, as you can see. So this is one of the things where I get irritated, and then I immediately go back to the awesome Windows Manager because I was like, I'm like, why in the world is there this bug? But if you just go like that real quick, then you can reset it, and then it should function as it's supposed to. So admittedly, that's very annoying. Uh, it doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it drives me insane, and I don't understand why that hasn't been fixed. That's been on there since version 12.04. Uh, you can also use Alt-Tab to quickly navigate, you know, your standard if you're familiar with Windows. Um, and then if you hold down your keyboard shortcuts, uh, you can see we can do the uh, super key or Windows key, W, and what's really, really nice about this, and what I really, really love, is when you're in this expose mode. Now, of course, you can use, I'm using my arrow keys to navigate around, but you can also type the name. So, for example, Firefox, I just type in FI, and the Firefox application immediately comes to the front, or Terminal, T-E-R, and it immediately comes in. Or, for example, my text editor, if I type in text, it immediately comes up. So that is a, a fantastic way to quickly navigate my open applications, especially if I have a lot open. Uh, if you click here, um, we can see that um, right now I don't have uh, virtual desktops enabled because for whatever reason by default uh, with, a, uh, with Ubuntu 14.04 they got rid of virtual desktops. I'll show you how to enable that. It's pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is 
your to work with applications the menu bar is up top now a lot of people don't like that me personally I I've gotten used to it from uh, Ubuntu 12.04 I really really like it and the reason I like it is because uh, especially when I'm working with my mouse I can just throw it to the top now admittedly if you have like dual screens and you've got your application way over on the other side then you know so for example you know if I've got my application down there it would be really nice to just click right here for the menu um, so again I have to go all the way to the top but it's it's nice because I can just throw my mouse up there so I've gotten used to it uh, I know a lot of people had real issue with that um, the other thing is if you hit the alt key like this you can just type what you're thinking so for example uh, up here under edit you have profile preferences and if I hit profile preferences um, this comes up and you can change your profile preferences for your terminal right I can hit the alt key and this is uh, uh, ser this searches the entire menu bar so I can type in profile and then I can navigate to profile preferences like so oh sorry I hit the wrong one profile preferences uh, it immediately comes up so um, uh, that's called the HUD. I find that incredibly useful. Uh, in fact, when I'm in the Awesome Windows Manager, I get annoyed that I don't have access to my HUD. Uh, so then I'll use the Awesome Window Manager for a week, and then I just get annoyed because I don't have my HUD available, and then I go back into Unity. So, um, <clears throat> this is basically a quick overview of the, the stock um, uh, Unity. Now you can do a lot of neat things with it. Um, let's go into settings real quick. So the biggest complaint that people have is it really isn't that customizable uh, with the stock installation. And I'll show you how to fix that. Um, so and that is a very valid complaint in my opinion. For example, appearance. Like there's really not much you can do. You can change this. Um, you can't move the launcher at all, which I know a lot of people had issues with. Uh, if you go into um, behavior here, so here in the Windows title bar, right now it's in the menu bar, which means up here, I could switch that to that. And then now you'll notice when I hover over here, it is on the actual application. So that's how you change that setting. So a lot of people like that. Um, myself, I don't know, I've, I've, I've just gotten used to it up here, so I actually prefer to do it up here but again I'm probably in the minority uh, enable workspaces so which is nice about workspaces is this is the virtual desktops I was talking about again by default they don't enable it in version 14.04 .04. I happen to really really like it so now if I hit the Windows S um, I can move this over um, Interestingly enough, there was a major bug that really, really annoyed me and would crash my system. And I will, I'm in VirtualBox, hopefully I don't crash it. But what would happen is you can drag an application over to anywhere of your virtual desktop, uh, uh, virtual desktops. And you can hit this and you can go back to here. So what would happen is if you grab it in the middle of the application, you're fine. If you grab it by like right here, Sometimes if you move real quick, the whole thing will freeze up. I've had this happen numerous times. And then I would hit Control alt delete or whatever uh, to try to get rid of that. And then what would happen is the whole thing would just lock up. If this locks up, um, let's see if I can if I can reproduce this real quick. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay, I got it to lock up. If this locks up like this, you're going to be thinking, what the heck is going on? All you do in order to get around this is you hit the Windows key S and then you're right back there. Um, do not hit, do not try to log out or anything like that because then the whole thing really, really freezes. So uh, once I figured out how to work around this bug, um, I would actually use Unity. This bug actually led me to the Awesome Windows Manager because I like this is unacceptable. Uh, it keeps crashing. So those are the two major issues. Um, again, this bug that I just talked about and the bug earlier where uh, when you hit the Windows keys and you just launched a new application, sometimes these automatically don't assign the correct number. Once I've learned to work around those and live with them, again, I agree, it's unexcusable, but once I've learned to work around them, um, 
Uh, I've had no other real issues with Ubuntu 14.04 and the Unity desktop environment. And the reason I like using Unity or stock Ubuntu is because um, now I've, mi uh, I've migrated my gaming with the Steam um, application over to Unity or Ubuntu, and that is supported. And uh, again, it, 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 I, have, I haven't had issues with LXDE and other desktop environments, but um, I just want to limit that factor of potentially having any issues. So that's why I choose to use Ubuntu and Unity. And again, um, and I'll also log into the awesome Windows Manager the same way. So uh, that's it for a very quick overview. What I wanted to do is show you some now the power features. And what I mean by that is, you know, if we go back into the settings, there's really not a lot of things that you can do um, right here to, to, to do stuff. I mean, you can change some keyboard shortcuts, but you're really, really limited on how you can set up the Ubuntu desktop. So what we are going to do is we are actually going to uh, go to the Software Center. Again, uh, people have issue with the Software Center. I agree, the Software Center is not that great. Um, but we are going to look for an application called Unity Tweak. And it's right here. This opens up a tremendous amount of um, <clears throat> of uh, 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 advanced features. So remember, you have to give it. You have to authenticate. Give it your password. Um, and once you do that, you can do a whole bunch of neat things. Now, I get what Ubuntu is trying to do. I don't necessarily. I wouldn't necessarily install it by default, but I would give an option. It would be really nice um, under the uh, the settings, if you know, if they had like like an advanced icon, like advanced settings, and then if you didn't have this application, it automatically installed it, or uh, better yet, um, this automatically comes installed and is integrated into the system settings. Um, and then you just hit a little button to toggle this on. Uh, I think this is uh, this Unity Tweak tool is a wonderful piece of software, and it really should be integrated better into Ubuntu. I'm kind of sad that it's not, but whatever. It's a quick install away. So here you have tons and tons of options. I implore you to just go around. You can you you can change your theme, uh, which is what I do. Um, you can change your launcher. Uh, you can do just tons and tons of stuff. Uh, the one thing that I like is um, I'll set up uh, my hot corners. So this will be top right corner. We'll say bottom right corner. And then so for example what happens now is if I go up to the top it just kind of does the corner. And if I go over here it does half the screen. So that's really nice. And you can also do what I really like uh, the hot corners. So this will be show workspaces. This will be, uh, oh wait, sorry, show workspaces, window spread, spread all windows. Again, you don't have to set it up this way. This is just me demonstrating. So now when I do this and I move my mouse to the corner, this is what happens. So um, <clears throat> the thing that I have noticed, sometimes when you log out, log back in, your hot corners, for whatever reason, will not work. It's the only bug I've seen in the Unity Tweak tool. Um, not a huge deal. Just relaunch the application, go to Hot Corners, and then um, just quickly uncheck and then check this. And then it'll disable it and then re enable it, and then you'll be right back in business. So, uh, again, um, I, you know, play around with this. I think this is um, uh, a great tool. And, uh, you know, as far as workflow, again, I just keep this lean. Um, I really like the keyboard shortcuts, especially when you have lots of applications open. And, you know, we can drag this, drag this, open this up, and then, you know, just typing, bring up the application that you want to use. I want to go back to my text editor. This is me. Uh, me switching applications. And then, you know, you've got your alt tab. So um, as far as like navigating very quickly between applications, I feel like I can do it very, very quickly in Ubuntu Unity, uh, much quicker than in Windows 10, um, and, and ma mainly because of this filtering function that I have. Um, so this is what I really like. 
uh, to quickly navigate. Anyway, as a very, very broad overview, if you think uh, Ubuntu Unity is something that that interests you, uh, whether you love it or hate it, or don't even know that it exists. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful, at least giving you an idea if this is a desktop environment that you would like to use. Uh, next week we'll either do GNOME or the awesome Windows Manager. I'm not sure which yet, but um, um, yeah, maybe we'll do awesome. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Anyway, uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully um, this kind of inspires you to play around with different desktop environments. And always, thanks for watching.